In today's short episode, is it worth to use Lion batteries from Repack? I designed a fixture frame. It will help to make small or battery pack. Actually, this thing is like must have. But more about this one in a second. Here we got two battery cells. This one is from Repack. It's actually quite visible because we've got those wet spots at the top and at the bottom. Actually, those spots look like this. If this is pure nickel, like in this case, it can be easily removed by some grinding tool. Yeah, as you can see, it can be easily removed. And the next one is brand new cell. So what we've got next difference, the price. Let's imagine that brand new cell costs like $10, but battery from Repack can cost even $2. And to be honest, if you've got a good supplier, then battery from Repack is working like brand new. Actually, this LG, I tested internal resistance and the capacity, and it has the same values like brand new cell. And I bought it for like 20% of regular price. So this is a great deal. I'm making this video because there were so many questions. Is it worth to use batteries from Repack? Actually, in many cases, I use batteries from Repack because they are cheaper so I can make bigger battery pack for lower price so this is a great deal but you have to be sure that you are buying batteries from good supplier because sometimes you can buy very used batteries and they and supplier is saying that this battery been never used but it's quite easy to check if battery is in good condition you can check internal resistance and you can check capacity i think it's worth to mention about Lito Kala company or how to call it actually if you cannot find any cheap cells from some legit companies like samsung lg sanyo or any repacks then Lito Kala could be good choice actually i bought this one for around two and a half dollars so this one can be even cheaper than some cells from legit companies and still is working the same way like expensive cells actually once again you have to find some good source because there is so many fakes i think i will link two of shops which i bought from these batteries and hopefully they still got genuine little colors so the thing is that yeah price two and a half dollars i did three battery packs and i think i can mention about the battery pack which is mostly used for the drilling tool for Bosch, which needs plenty of power, I noticed that the capacity drops around 20% after one year. And this is quite a nice score, trust me, because even Samsung 35E, which is quite expensive, got capacity when it's brand new around 3.5 amps, but after 40 charging cycles, capacity can drop to even 3 amps. So 20% capacity drop for $2.5 is really not a bad score. So I could recommend those to make some battery packs for e-scooters, e-bikes. But yeah, once again, you have to find some good supplier which got genuine batteries. What I would choose, battery from Repack like genuine LG or maybe brand new genuine Lito Kala. To be honest, after so many battery packs which I made and I tested so many batteries, I would go with Repack batteries. Of course, with genuine brands like LG, Samsung, Sanyo, because I never had any problems with that kind of batteries, even after a long time. I am not sure about Lito Kala because I never been used for a long time this brand, but also after one year, I never had any problems. But yeah, overall, I would go with Repack. 18 650 or 21 700 for me answer is simple 21 700 of course 21 are a little bit bigger but also they got bigger capacity but the most important difference lifespan of 21 700 is two or four times greater compared to 18 650 that's why tesla is using that kind of battery cells so let's just imagine that if you will make battery pack on this lg 18 650 then it will survive like two years but if you will make battery pack on LG21700, then it will survive four or six years. Of course, those are a little bit pricey, but this is the price for lifespan, so less problems. And now cherry on the top, fixture frame, which I designed. If you ever made battery pack, then you know that that kind of fixture frame helps a lot, especially if you are making big battery packs, because fixture frame holds all batteries together. So you can arrange that kind of batteries as you like. Also, you can do something like this, like 1P, or maybe you would like to have 2P in that kind of arrangement. Oh, come on, oh, in something like this. So thanks to fixture frame, it's much easier to spot weld batteries. 
in my design there is no any metal parts this is how looks the screw so everything is for the print yeah it looks quite nice i have to admit actually you can download the free version it's on thinkverse but if you are my patreon you can expect more advanced version with different sizes and even with that kind of extents so thanks you will be able to make even some super big battery packs like 20s 10 or 20p so i do recommend something like this if you are making battery packs it helps a lot so bros see you in next video